All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Some bad news. I think I might have broke Betsy. That's not what I actually called it, but anyway. Uh, sorry for it running, but I'm trying to burn off fuel, diesel. Reason being, because I'm an idiot. I put, accidentally filled, we were in a rush yesterday to get ready to leave and get everything organized on the property here. I wanted to fill my uh, death fluid. If you don't know what death fluid is, you put it in a particular spot in the truck. It's located in mine next to the gas tank. You dump the death fluid in there and it's supposed to help with emissions and all this other stuff. Now, to me that's debatable, but anyway. So, what I did, because I was in the middle of doing a bunch of other stuff, and in a rush, I accidentally poured about a liter of that, which I don't know what that is in American, um, or imperial, no. Anyway, I don't know what that is uh, in any other measurement. So, a liter into my diesel tank, yes. And I didn't think much of it because I was thinking, okay, a liter, the diesel was full, 130 liters. I'm thinking, okay, even if it's, because it's mostly water death fluid, just a little bit of other stuff in it. 67% of it's water or something. So I'm thinking, okay, it's a tiny bit. I'm in a rush. We need to leave in the early morning to head off for Thanksgiving at my mother's house, which is in British Columbia, which is a long way away. So we're going to stay there for a few days. And I have some other stuff to do there. So I was in a rush. I did it. And I thought, okay, whatever. Well, apparently it's a mistake. If you accidentally damp dump death fluid in your vehicle, it's best not to turn it on or drive it. So this morning we head out. It was fine. Get 30 minutes into the drive, and it warns me water in the flute in the lines, right, or in your uh, in your fuel system or something. I said. But it didn't stop the truck, didn't say the engine light came on. I was like, okay, well, let's just burn through it and see what happens, right? And it's supposed to sink to the bottom, so I'm thinking, okay, maybe I'll suck it out first. So we kept driving and driving, and then, I, then Jamie started looking up stuff, and it was something we shouldn't have done. Which, you know, hindsight's 2020. I'm not a car guy. I don't know much about engines. Uh, in the old, I, all I know is I've watched stuff with tractors and all that stuff and diesel and they're sitting in the woods for 50 years and they throw some new gas and some oil in that and they start up. So this didn't really worry me. But uh, it can corrode apparently your uh, cylinders. It can do something with some sort of uh, fuel pump, the fuel pump, high pressure fuel pump. It can corrode that. Because uh, I don't know if you've if you've used uh, death fluid before or you spilt it, you know it dries up into that crystal stuff. Apparently, you can do that on some of the parts in the in the vehicle. Now the truck is running fine. It threw it into kind of a limp mode, right where it's not quite as powerful. But that's all it did, uh, and I can still go like 110 kilometers an hour on the highway, which is 110 and stuff. So I wasn't worried about it so I just drove a lot more today because I took it to the dealership and they have nobody that can see me or any of the car place around here for at least a week and they said well the damage would have been done already for the most part and since it's not a huge amount they said burn through it put some diesel cleaner stuff whatever uh, in, the, in, in the diesel tank it helps get rid of moisture it says in the bottle and all that stuff out of the gas so <clears throat> that's what I did today we drove a lot and it's gotten like half the mileage out of it. So it is definitely burning more fuel. It doesn't feel horrible. I mean, it goes through a stage where it does kind of feel slow. So I'm just hoping it's getting rid of the stuff. It could be just breaking the cylinders. But apparently I would have had to have done that. Oh, yeah, by the way, the window's still broken. We're taking that tomorrow to get fixed. Uh, <laughs> geez. Well, I tell you, it's been a couple weeks two or three weeks now it's just been one thing after another I mean obviously this is my fault but uh, anyway so we take it there and he said just burn through the tank throw that stuff in the in the uh, oil or in the gas uh, diesel and then just drive it until it's empty refill it and see what happens and change the oil filter the fuel filter as soon as you run through the gas fill it and change it the fuel filter out and we'll see and then they'll run a test the diagnostics to see if there's anything it's error coding on right uh, hoping that my one-year-old truck which doesn't look like one year old because it's so dirty uh, doesn't need ten thousand dollars worth of work apparently it can cost up to 
Canadian, eleven, twelve thousand dollars to fix this for one liter of def fluid that probably cost me two to three dollars Canadian. So yeah. Anyway, so what I've been doing is just letting it sit there and idle, which isn't great for vehicles anyway. But I've been driving most of the day. It's not dropping very fast, so I may just turn it off and I don't want it in the system and just drive it around again for a while and burn through it. Because uh, like I said, the engine light's on. It does restrict the speed at like 120 kilometers an hour, which are in miles, I'm not sure what that is. Um, probably 90 or something, I'm just guessing now. But anyway, so yeah. And that's what I got out of the tank in kilometers, which I normally, on regular driving highways, I get 11 uh, liters for every 100 kilometers. So it works out to be about 1,300 kilometers out of a tank. And as you can see, the tank is less than a quarter. So, something's funky. Um, I'm really hoping I didn't F this up real bad. Oh, and before I forget, uh, the solution, by the way, if you do that, or if you put like, even if you put like regular gas by mistaking your diesel vehicle, which might be common sense for most, apparently not me today, uh, <laughs> or yesterday technically, uh, is to not drive it and have somebody come and pump it out. They don't even start it apparently, so just either get it towed to somewhere to do it or I don't know if there's mobile places, probably not, that can pump out your tank and then, uh, you know, that clears out the system, right? Okay, so it's the next day and I took this to get the fuel filter changed and I did that and I ran through a whole tank of gas yesterday with it. And then I got, uh, and then the change of uh, fuel filter, but the place I took it to was supposed to have uh, fuel line flushing for it, trucks and stuff. And at that particular location, even though they said they did, didn't have that. So, or couldn't do it anyway for that day. So I did the fuel change. It still pops up that there's water in the system, but it's not throttling anymore. And there's no other signs of anything right now so I, what I'm going to do is I put more fuel uh, line cleaner stuff in the tank as well because I put more diesel in it today. Uh, it's running better, it's not uh, limiting your speed and all that stuff now so I think it's working through the system. Long term damage, I don't know. The engine light's still on but it keeps popping that water and fuel thing when I start it only, not when I'm driving and it was doing it all the time when I was driving uh, before so I think it is better but I have to take it in for them to look. So I'll, I'll let you guys know about that. And the other thing today we got done, very expensive day so far, is uh, the window's fixed. So the guy did the window. Nice. So we've done that. We've got this little beast going. If the brakes down on this too. Well, we'll have to get the brakes down on that soon because uh, they're really, really, really low. And uh, yeah. And then uh, my food truck is running today in British Columbia where we were going to head to. Uh, and the generator broke, so... <laughs> and then they deliver a new generator, a uh, rental place. It's going to switch out uh, and do some maintenance on my one. And they won't power all the plugs because it's not set to 240 or something. So, 240 volts, so... Yeah, and the staff don't know how to deal with that. We're at one of our big, biggest events, especially for this time of year. It's one of our biggest events, so... Yeah, <laughs> a nightmare. Tell you, this has been a challenge. Anyway, I thought I'd update you on that stuff. I know it's boring, and some people don't care, but... Don't put that fluid in your engine. Uh, your gas, I mean. So, or your diesel, or gas, whatever. We wouldn't put it in a gas car anyway, but. <laughs> so just don't do it. Uh, buddy's out. Buddy! Buddy! What are you doing? He hasn't been out in ages. Since the, since the first day we put them over in their pen. Buddy, come here. Buddy, 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 what are you doing? Yeah, you gotta go in, buddy. You're too. Yeah, you're too friendly to be out here. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You ever see him? Yeah, you're, yellow, you're, eh? you're too friendly to be out here, bud. Look, his color's changing. Yep. Anyway, we're gonna just drive my truck around the block because last night I put uh, more gas in it and it ran better. Now, I'm not holding my hopes because it keeps changing every day, but uh, yeah. Let's see, I'm gonna idle it here and see. You guys can see in the mirror. I'll zoom in if I can. And you can see the, see the smoke coming out. And it does come out black sometimes too. So I don't know if it's just burning stuff off, 
The concerning point is, if I don't know if you heard it uh, already about the clicking noise it makes. And now I don't know if it's coming from underneath. It's not coming from the top of the truck as far as I can tell, like where the motor is. So it sounds like a pump's trying to pump and it's getting stuck or something. I don't know. I mean, I'm no, I'm no mechanic by any stretch, obviously. Otherwise, I wouldn't have drove with the damn fluid in there to begin with. But, uh, yeah, so it is definitely burning off stuff it's not supposed to be. Yeah, see that? You can see outside there. So, I don't know. We'll find out. I'll keep you updated. Uh, it'll be a while before I take this puppy in, though, because i got so much to do. So, yeah. I was hoping today it would burn cleanly again. It smells like that. I did put that cleaner in it though. It smells like a cleaner solution burning. Martin's in the mood today. He's uppity. He is uppity today. <laughs> Look at him. He's trying to boss everybody around, including us today. Yeah. Weird. So anyway, that one was being picked on in the other coop. In a big coop. Yes, Martin. Anyway, so we moved. Hey, <laughs> so we moved it, moved her over here with the other barred rocks and stuff, and uh, and flour. Hey, look at him; he's in mood. Jeez. Anyway, and flour. He's showing off for the new one. Yeah, he's look. showing off. He's trying to push his dominance on everybody. Anyway, so we may actually move the rest of the barred rocks because this, uh, like I said, eventually will be a uh, a barred rock buff. Maybe uh, half of this will be a barred rock buff. Coop and the other half here obviously will just stay Martin's coop over here. Yes, Martin. See, look at him, look at him. Look at him. He's in the mood. He's gonna get me watch. Look at him, dropping a wing and everything. And looking at me. Yeah, he's like, I'm the dominant one here. Oh, chickens. Anyway, <laughs> they kind of wear me out sometimes. These are from a, like I said in the well, I may have said already in another video. These ones here. Oh, he's squaring off. Martin, oh, you're in our mood today. He's trying to tell him who's boss. Yeah. So, these ones uh, are from people we sold hatching eggs to from a while ago. Obviously, not our. These are not from our barred rocks at all. These are their own. They bought them from somebody else. But anyway, so we bought some of them from them. And they're very nice. And they're really nice. So. And she had kids and dogs and everything, so they're raised really nice. But anyway, these guys couldn't. They don't know how to roost. They don't know how to do anything. Still, really. no matter how many times we put them up there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah, don't, I don't know. Hatcheries in our area seem, well, this particular place seems to suck really badly, so. Okay, so I'm going to check the truck's uh, fuel filter again. Apparently you can drain the fluid, uh, like water and stuff, from the, from the fuel filter section. Apparently it... Get out of the sun again. Apparently it separates everything. So I'm gonna go into the truck this time and see if there's more because it's still blowing smoke. Uh, again, I went back to the dealership and they said just to keep driving it for now. They said it won't do any, it shouldn't do any more damage unless I hear a lot of clunking or something from the injectors or something. Then maybe I should, not maybe, then they should don't keep pushing it. But if it's intermittent, they said it may clear itself, so they said just keep driving it for now. And uh, sorry for the wind, guys, it could probably get noisy here. Uh, so keep driving it. So I'm just going to see where the fuel filter line is and uh, see if there's a separator there that can drain. And if there is, I'll drain it and uh, keep doing that for a while and see if it gets better. Okay, I think you guys can see that now. Uh, let's see if more of this or some of this comes out. When it'll start coming out this time. I don't think anything's gonna come out of it. So it's got a little bit of fluid in it. 
It's definitely gas smelling fluid, so. This thing here has a little hole in it. Now, does it automatically drain any water that comes through the system out? I'm wondering if it does, because it's got that hole. I don't know if I'm doing this right, because I can't see the camera very well. But it's got a little hole up there. So has it been draining this crap out of the system the whole time? And if that's the case, how is it that it got it anywhere else? I guess it gets mixed in and just doesn't catch it all wet. Because this is totally empty again. And uh, it's got a little tiny hole in it. Now i got to make sure there's no dirt on this thing because I just dropped it. But... Hi, Sly. Hi, guys. How are you? Okay, so this is a steep part of the property where, uh, I don't know if you guys will see, but back there obviously is the trail ahead that it came from. You've probably seen this many times, but it's steeper than it looks. It's quite steep, this section. So I'm going to go up the hill here with the truck and give it a little bit of gas and see what happens with the uh, knocking. I guarantee it's going to be there. I just want to know how much worse or better, hopefully, it is. So I'll let you see the, the window again. There it goes. See, there's a smoke. That beeping's a seatbelt warning, guys, not uh, anything else. So, that was better than last time. So, not bad. I haven't driven around a lot today, though, so that could be another reason why it sounds better. Hold on, I'm going to on so the beeping doesn't continue. Also, a little smell, I can smell the chemical smell. He said that's probably from the stuff I put in the engine. So he goes, that could be causing a bit of a, if it's too strong, because I put two batches in and, and two tanks, that it could be causing that uh, alignment issue with the injectors or something too. So he said, just wait until you burn through all this gas and stuff to get it out of your system. See if it's better. <laughs> 